um, um, because I'm born in Shenzhou, and I think that in Shenzhou there is no enough place for sightseeing. But I think nowadays there are many afternoon tea shops, so I think they can first come to drink some drinks, and then I I can I can suggest them go to see some places. I, um, because I study art uh, when I was young, so I think I will recommend the simple sketch because it's, uh, you can just draw a picture with only a pencil and an eraser and I think it, it's easy easier than the water painting because you can um, look at the uh, if you want to draw a picture you can look at the picture for the light side and the dark side and you can sketch it I think there are, there are not too many foreigners in Xinjiang, but um, if I ever um, see them, I think they will have various people from different countries. So um, I think that uh, most of them are come from an Asia country apart from Taiwan. Um, I think um, because I I just went to a cultural um, uh, show. It's there are uh, there were many foreigners. They play the show like playing music or some cultural activity in their countries. So I think they provide various uh, various activity to introduce to us. So I think the most part they give us is the cultural activity. Okay, um, my most memorable event in my life is my, uh, I did a international volunteer in both Philippines and Thailand. And I went to Philippines at 2016, and it's my first time to go abroad for doing volunteer activities. And after, um, I came back, I thought what we can provide or what we could do is not enough for them because I think the purpose why we come to a rural place is to give them some good support. So I came back to Taiwan and I became a director of the uh, international volunteer group in my university and I create a new group is about uh, we go to the north of the Thailand because I <coughs> communicate with a new new group is located in the North Thailand and and I think we can do some Chinese teaching to the local kids and I think the more important things is that we can do a continuous teaching because um, uh, we came to we 
came to paint him before, but we won't go to there uh, anytime. So I think I create a group to Thailand and we can keep on um, tracking their uh, tracking their teaching. Mm. So um, I think it's very important to ourselves nowadays because um, I think due to the social media and lots of advertisements, the ceremonies and the celebration seems more important than before because people like to show off, uh, maybe kind of show off their, um, their ability to to hold up a, a fresh ceremony. Yeah. Mm. For me, Taiwan. Tomorrow, mm. um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Um, to, uh, maybe tomorrow will be a um, national uh, ceremony in the Taipei in front of the government. Yeah, I think it's a it's a way to keep people um, updating the newest uh, activity and also uh, need to remember the old traditional ways what the government or some companies provide so I think it's important to us. Uh, maybe some, um, uh, I think what I'm talking is about uh, some government will hold some ceremony, but they will um, uh, find some companies to assist them. Uh, yeah, I think in my view, because I'm a Chinese, and I think that uh, the traditional ways in marriage is that parents will concern about the husband or wife and maybe they were even involved in and, and, and lead, uh, lead you to marry to People, person you don't even love, and I think nowadays these things is not, not common than before, and people nowadays can choose whatever they want, but parents' concern is also to some extent. I think both of them has similar similar perspective about it because they I think the people nowadays they also want to have a successful work in their lives. So I think um the their perspective towards marriage will be uh, we'll seem more responsible to them, and I think, um, yeah, I think people nowadays are responsible for their family, and they all want to create a family. Mm, in my view, it's 
definitely the international news because I think um, it's uh, the phenomenon now uh, which the media provide is kind of strange because they think that the celebrities in Taiwan will catch the public concern, so they try to make some um, elaborate news to catch us attention. So I think it they do lots of international news. Okay, so here we have our part one topic, visitors. And the first question, what would you suggest a visitor should see and do in your country? Let's have a listen. Um, um, because I'm born in Xinjiang, and I think that in Xinjiang there is no enough place for sightseeing. But I think nowadays there are many afternoon tea shops, so I think they can first come to drink some drinks and then I I can I can suggest they go to see some places. Okay. Uh maybe you noticed a few us and maybe you mo you noticed the slow speech. Uh but let's just look at how these ideas are joined together. Because I'm born in Shinsu and, so because and, but these are not always so logical, are they? For example, but I think now there are many tea, afternoon tea shops, so I think they can first. So uh, the coherence is kind of lacking because the conjunctions used to join these ideas together are not always the correct conjunctions. And for the grammar, I'm, should be I was, you're always born in the past, right? There is no enough. Hmm. Surely that should be, I'm, there's not enough. Uh, let's see here. They can first come to drink some drinks. <laughs> okay, so the vocabulary is adequate, but pretty basic. A lot of mistakes and kind of slow speech. Let's go on to the next question. Uh, are there any traditional arts or music you'd recommend? Now, this is the question as I got it. I don't know why it's arts. It should just be art. I... Um, because I study art uh, when I was young, so I think I will recommend the simple sketch because it's uh, you can just draw a picture. Okay, it seems to me this person is a little bit confused about what the topic is. Let's just go back and have a look at the topic topic is visitors right so visitors to a country for example so this question oops not that one here are there any traditional arts or music you would recommend remember this question still falls under the topic of visitors so answer the question from the perspective of visitors so don't tell them that they should be doing sketches that's not what the question is asking you to do I think I will recommend the simple sketch because it's uh, you can just draw a picture with. All right, so let's get into the grammar. Picture is a countable noun, so it should be a picture or pictures. Only a pencil and a eraser and. Same with eraser, it should be an. And I think it, it's easy, easier than the water painting. Water painting is not a tangible noun. It's not something that you can hold in your hand. 
We don't need an article for that. Because... Oh, wait, hang on a second. What happened there? Why does this say panting? There we go. Easier than the water painting because you can um, look at the. Uh, if you want to draw a picture, you can look at the picture. See here, she has to reformulate this whole sentence. You can look at the. And she doesn't say what. So the the fluency is kind of lacking there. The light side and the dark side, and you can sketch it. All right. So if this was a real test, she'd probably be asked to answer the question again. Uh, the question, the examiner will probably point out that the topic is visitors, and then they probably just repeat the question. All right, the next one. Tell me about the kind of foreign visitors or tourists who go to your country. I think there are, there are not too many foreigners in Xinjiang. Okay, the question is country. She's talking about city. There are not too many foreigners. Oh, good grief. Hang on, let's fix this here. There we go. Okay, let's continue. But um, if I ever um, see them, if I ever see them, so that means she's never seen them before. If she had seen them before, she would have said, uh, "When I see them, not if I see them." I think they will have various people from different countries, so. Mm, I think that uh, most of them are come from. Are come from. So if I ever see them, so that sounds like you've never seen them before. But then she goes on to say, uh, various people. <laughs> okay. Um, So, how about we say a diverse group of people instead of various people? If you want to say how the people are different from each other, I think diverse group of people might be better. I come from an Asia country apart from Taiwan. Okay, so Asian countries other than Taiwan. So they come from Asian countries other than Taiwan. All right, let's move on to the next question. In what ways has tourism changed your country? Um, I think um, because I I just went to a cultural um, uh, show. It's there are uh, there were many foreigners. They play the show like play music or. All right, so we can see a lot of hesitation, ums, a lot of self-correction, I, I, or oh, repetition in this case, really. Um, a show, hesitation, self-correction, it's, there are, she changes what she says. There's some mispronunciation. Formulist, they played the show. This should be they played at the show. Like playing music or some, let's find out what. Or some cultural activity in their countries. Uh, cultural activities from their countries. I'm not exactly sure what this means. Hmm. So I think they provide various uh, various activity to introduce to us. Okay, now if it's various, then it's got to be activities. So I think the most part they 
give us is the cultural activity. Here we have the most parts they give us. I don't know what that means. Does that mean their biggest contribution? Does that mean something else? I'm not exactly sure. But if you go back to the question, in what ways does tourism change your country? Uh, I don't think she talked really about tourism at all. She talked about a culture show and she talked about well, that's about it. I don't see her talking about any changes. All right. It's kind of off topic there. Part two. Describe a memorable event in your life. Here are cues. When the event took place, where the event took place, what happened, and why this event was memorable for you. All right, let's have a listen. Okay. Um, my most memorable event in my life is my the most memorable event of my life. I, uh, I did a international volunteer in both Philippines and Thailand. All right, Philippines uh, and the Philippines is one of those countries where you have to say the, the Philippines. And I went to Philippines at 2016. For years, the preposition is in. Here she's using the present tense. It's, it was. And it's my first time to go abroad for doing volunteer activities. Uh, it was my first time going abroad for, I don't know why we need this word here doing. We could just say volunteer activities or volunteering or to volunteer for doing volunteer activities. Mm, I think we could just say to volunteer. And after um, I came back, I thought what we can provide or what we could do is not enough for them because I think the purpose why we come to... Here she says come. I think she meant went. And maybe not the purpose, the reason. The reason we went to... A uh, rural place is to... Oh, uh, now I'm thinking maybe she said rural. Give them some good support. So I came back to Taiwan and I became a director of the... Uh, international volunteer group in my university we and my university. I create a new group should be past tense and I created a new group is about uh, we go to the north of the Thailand uh, this is the problem here it's about we go to the north of Thailand I created a new group which is about if it's if it's is about this should just be a noun phrase which is about volunteering or which is about helping people but here we have a whole sentence we go to the north of Thailand uh, so maybe I created uh, what I created a new group which traveled to the north of Thailand it's about uh, we go to the north of the Thailand because I <coughs> communicate with a new new group is located in the north Thailand and all right so which is or was I don't know if they still exist in northern Thailand which is located in northern Thailand and I think we can do some Chinese teaching to the local kids. Okay, we can teach Chinese to the local kids. You don't do teaching, you teach something. So we can teach Chinese to the local kids. And I think the more important things is that we can do a continuous teaching because Alright, so she keeps on using do as a verb 
when teach is fine as a verb. So the most important thing we can do is Oh, never mind. I see why this is do there. Okay, so the most important thing we can do is continuously teaching or teaching continuously. Uh, uh, we came to we came to meet him before. Went. We went to the Philippines. But how is this connected to this? The most important thing we can do is to teach continuously because we went to the Philippines before. I, I don't understand this because. What's the connection? Came to meet him before, but we won't go to there. Uh, we won't go there. We didn't go there? Uh, any time so I think I create a group to Thailand and we can keep on um, tracking their uh, tracking their teaching I don't understand the connection between Thailand and the Philippines we went to the Philippines but we didn't go there several times maybe we can keep checking their teaching who is this there is she not one of the volunteers i don't know it's a little bit confusing i i i, I don't quite understand everything there. tracking their teaching so they're monitoring other people teaching i don't know part three uh okay so here's the topic the role of ceremony in our lives hmm I guess this is kind of loosely connected to the part two topic of memorable events. Anyway, the first question, how important are ceremonies in our lives? So um, I think it's very important to ourselves nowadays because um, I think due to the social media and lots of advertisement okay now that I listen to this I think this should be and not in thanks to social media and lots of advertisements social media and lots of advertisements the ceremonies and the celebration seems more important than before Okay, I can kind of see that. Maybe some advertisements show festivals or something. But what examples? Examples like, for example, what? Because people likes to show off. People likes. Uh, maybe kinds of show off their um, their ability to to hold up a, a fresh ceremony okay so i still don't know what the ceremony is is she talking about weddings is she talking about funerals or some other traditional ceremony and when she's talking about advertisements is she talking about wedding advertisements and i don't know what a fresh ceremony is their ability to hold up a fresh ceremony. I've never seen the two words fresh and ceremony put together. Okay, so the next question, do you see the role of private and public ceremonies changing in the future? So do you think they are going to change in the future? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a way to keep people um, updating the newest uh, activity and also I think maybe she means it's a way of letting people know what the latest ceremonies are not updating the newest activity it's a way of letting people know what the newest ceremonies are I think that's what she means uh, activity and also uh, need to remember the old traditional ways 
Now here we need a subject, so we need to remember the old traditional, traditional ways. ways. What the government or some companies provide, so I think it's important to us. Now hang on a second, what happened here? But the government or some company, but the government or some companies provide, provide what? Traditional ways what the government or I, I, don't, I, I don't know I don't know what to say but the government or some, some companies provide seems to be something missing here I don't know what they provide I guess I might just as well put a period there <laughs> because I don't know what she means really what kind of ceremonies? Good question. Let's hear. Uh, maybe some. Um, uh, I think what I'm talking is about. Uh, I think what I'm talking about is. Uh, some government will hold some ceremony, but they will um, uh, find some companies to assist them. Okay, I have a lot of questions. They didn't really clear anything up. I still don't know what the ceremony is. And how do the companies assist the government? But we never find out the answer to any of these questions. All right, uh, let's make this a little bigger. The next topic, attitude to marriage in your country. And the question, have attitudes to marriages changed in recent years all right this is how i got the question i don't know why there's an s here because we're talking about the institution of marriage we're not talking about individual marriages between different people so really this question should be have attitudes to marriage changed in recent years let's hear what she says uh yeah i think in my view because i i think in my view your view is what you think so choose one of these phrases don't put them put together. I'm a Chinese and I think that uh, the traditional ways in marriage is that parent will concern about your husband or wife all right I don't know what that screeching noise is. Okay, so parents will be concerned. Be concerned. Why don't we use the word spouse, by the way? A spouse is either a husband or a wife. It's the person that you marry. Your husband or wife. Oh. And maybe they were even involved what? in 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 and Lead, uh, lead you to marry to a person you don't even love. Okay, I think this lead is maybe they will force you to get married to someone you don't love. I think what she's talking about here is arranged marriages. So some parents might force their children into arranged marriages. The people, person you don't even love and I think nowadays these things is not that common than before and these things are not as common as before and people nowadays can choose whatever they want but parent concern is also to some extent Parents' concern are also to some extent what? I feel like this sentence is not finished. Parents' con parents it should be parents. Parents' concern is to some extent something's missing here. Let's. All right, this question, same topic. Uh, in what ways do men and women feel differently about marriage, in your opinion? And she says... 
I think both of them has similar similar perspective about. Okay, now hang on a second. Uh, most of them has. This should be have. Perspectives are countable, so most of them have a similar perspective. A similar perspective. Perspective about it because they, I think the people nowadays they also want to have a successful work in their lives. Now hang on a second. Have a successful work. Hmm. Usually work would not be countable. I don't know if she means career. And actually I think here she said lives. So let's change that. So they want to have successful careers. Maybe not uh. uh you can say uh. They want to have a successful career. The in their lives part I think we can leave out. Because of course nobody works when they're dead. In their lives. So I think... Um, the their perspective towards marriage will be uh, will seem more responsible to them, and I think um, yeah, I think people nowadays are responsible for their family, and they all want to create a family. nowadays are responsible to the family. Uh, well, she keeps on using the word nowadays. So uh, does she mean that in the past it was different? If your argument is that in the past it was different, then you should say, and this situation is very different from in the past when people used to blah, 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 blah. But you need some words to contrast this with the past then, if, if that's what you believe. Which brings us to the next topic, events of national or global significance. And the question, what sort of national events make headlines in your country? In my view, it's definitely the international news because I think um, it's uh, the phenomenon now uh, which the media provide is kind of strange because they think that the celebrities in Taiwan will catch the public concern, so they try to make... Okay, I'm a little bit confused. Because she starts off by saying international news, but then she goes on to talk about celebrity news. So these are not the same thing. The one is enter entertainment news and the other one is actual international events. So I'm not sure which it is. She says it's international news because of, because of the phenomena now in which, in which the media provides Oh, no, we can't even say that. I don't know how to fix the sentence. Maybe she should say something like, because of the phenomena now where the media... Well, maybe put this adjective with phenomena then. That would be better. Because of the strange phenomena now where the media provides... No, the provide doesn't go with anything. I don't know what to do with the provide. So the strange phenomena now where the media focuses on celebrities since the media believes that the Taiwanese public are interested in celebrities. Here she says catch the public concern. Uh, maybe she feels that the Taiwanese public are obsessed with celebrities, maybe obsessed, catch the public concern. Mm. Sounds strange. Public concern, so they try to make some mm, exaggerate news to catch us attention. To catch our attention. So they exaggerate the news. I don't think they make 
the media doesn't make news but they can exaggerate the news so let's use exaggerate as a verb to catch us attention so I think it they do lots of international news and here so I think if if they do lots of international news so we have the if clause but what's the result clause if they do a lot of international news then what what will happen again there's something missing here from the sentence it's not complete okay so for fluency and coherence speech was slow we saw examples of repetition there was just too much self-correction there were connective views but they were used illogically it didn't always make sense so the speech came across as quite incoherent and all of these factors here meant that the simple speech was kind of fluent but in more complex sentences we saw severe breakdowns in fluency lexical resource same thing she could talk about familiar and unfamiliar topics but she couldn't quite say what she wanted to say so we saw limited flexibility grammar same thing all those grammatical errors caused some comprehension problems it wasn't always possible to know what she was trying to say and pronunciation the same we saw some effective use of rhythm and word stress sentence stress we didn't see intonation we didn't really see either